Welcome again to the topic integration. We want to see how to integrate exponential 2x sine 4x dx. Now, for us to be able to integrate this, let's drive shortcuts we can use so that anytime you see question on this, you can easily use this shortcut and get it. Then you now say, I will get it from integrate exponential ax sine bx dx. Where my a replaced 2 and b replaced 4 in comparison. Then I will call this d, I will call this i, and call this d. I put it in a tabular form d slash i d slash i my d is sine bx and my i is exponential ax and they said this d mean differentiate so when you differentiate sine bx you'll be getting b sine bx when you integrate d you get 1 over a exponential ax. Okay? Then you differentiate this again. When you differentiate, when you differentiate sine b l to be differentiate b s b, differentiate sine cos, please, not sine. Okay? Then differentiate right b. Differentiate b s, you say another b is what we get. Differential cost, you say, is minus sine, minus sine bx. Okay? That will be giving you b times b will be giving you b squared. We say minus b squared sine bx. Then differential integrates this. 1 over a squared exponential ax. So, put plus, minus, plus. This plus, minus, plus, you are putting is constant. Then, connect this to this, connect this to this, then multiply this two with symbol of integration sign. Then what you now do is that you say, let me call everything here. Let me call it integration i. I will now say integration i is equal to this times is sine bx exponential ax all over a. This times is minus is already here minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared. Then Plus times minus, minus. This times is will be giving me minus is, uh, integration sine b square sine bx exponential ax all over a squared. Then what you do next, you carry this to the other side. But note that your equation says that this is not to be integration i. So I will automatically call everything here integration i. I'll call it i. This is integration already. So I will now say, take this to the other side. I will be having integration i plus integration b squared i all over a squared. A plus to sine bx exponential ax all over a minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared. Then, when you factorize, you have exponential i or integration i bracket 1 plus b squared over a squared will be giving you sine 
bx exponential ax all over a minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared. Now, carry this to the other side. Before you carry it to the other side, note that we have integration i equals integration i bracket LCM of this is a. a squared, that would be a squared plus b squared, then equals to then equals to sine bx exponential ax all over a minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared. So what we now do here is that we carry this to the last side and make I subject a formula. Our I is exponential AX sine BX. If was taking this to the last side, it will give you sine BX exponential AX all over A divided by A squared plus B squared all over A squared. The minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared times uh, divided by a squared plus b squared all over a squared. So we are trying to use this to divide everything. Now remember in mathematics that exponential ax sine bx Division, when you change division to what? Multiplication. You invite the next one, a squared, all over a squared plus b squared. Then, minus b, minus b cos bx exponential ax all over a squared divide okay times let's write it so that it will enter so we said from here we'll be having exponential ax sine bx times a squared all over a squared plus b squared all over a then minus exponential ax b cos bx all over a squared times a squared all over a squared plus b squared this we cancel this this we cancel only one a that will be giving you that exponential sine bx is equal to what do these two have in common exponential ax all over a squared plus b squared bracket a sine bx that will work what will remain minus b cos bx plus c so we've been able to drive the formula we need so this is the formula we need to solve this question. We now say integration 2x sine 4x is equivalent to exponential 2x, where 2 is a, all over 2 squared 4, uh, 4 squared is 16, 4 plus 16 is 20, bracket 2 sine 4x minus 4 plus 4x plus c. Okay? Remember, A equal to 2, B equal to 4 from comparison. Thanks for watching the video. Please see the third aspect of this so that we, you know how you can also integrate it. Thank you.